One thing that's really explicit here is that the natural trees are absolutely dependent on the wild branches to survive and to thrive and to flourish. And I think it's such a beautiful allegory, right? A metaphor for us in our own lives that as members of the church, right, we have so many gifts. We are rooted, right, in covenant. Um, but at the same time, we have to be willing to learn from others and those unlike us in order for us to continue to grow and evolve. And the whole book of Jacob really is an illustration of that, the way that Jacob points to the Lamanites as the example that the Nephites need to learn from of how to do family correctly and how to love correctly. Yeah, I love that. You've got Jesus saying, love your enemy. And here Jacob saying, learn from your enemy, right? Even though they're fighting the Lamanites in those early chapters, what can you learn? And it's such a masterful way to teach, right? Because the Nephites are struggling with pride. They're struggling with self-righteousness. And here, Jacob takes their absolute enemies and, and people they think they have nothing to learn from, certainly in terms of spirituality or religiosity. And those are the people they're gonna have to emulate, at least in this one <laughs> regard, right? In order to live their own covenants. And I think it's just a profound lesson uh, for us that we can't afford to get self-righteous. We can't afford to think that we know better than everyone. There's always one thing, something mm -hmm. we can learn from anyone. And I think Jacob's really at pains to show us that again and again. Mm -hmm.